You know there's ATMs right here. But we're either cowards, victims, and sheep, or we're strong, free citizens. And if that's what you want to be, it's time to be involved in the community. You know, I came up last night for the world doesn't get yeah, better this. if you don't and, uh, get active. And then I'll take it off. What does civic duty mean? What's that, Megan? Well, it means coming here today. It's our First Amendment right to be here. And like those heroes last weekend at the University of Colorado, the CRC has fought tooth and nail for the right to be here over the years. We wouldn't be here if the Cannabis Reform Coalition hadn't stood up and defied years of obstruction and harassment by the government officials in town hall. The CRC never backs down. Why not join them? The CRC Cannabis Reform Coalition, the uh, booth is over there. Anybody, especially if you're coming to UMass next year, you're at UMass, join up, get involved, put on organization, put on uh, events like this. And even if you're not, you know, local, you can still join up as an auxiliary member. Now, civic duty means jury duty. It's one of the most important checks and balances against bad laws is the jury system. Don't shirk your duty and keep your brothers and sisters from being shackled and caged. And civic duty is getting involved in the electoral process, the electoral politics. And this being a presidential election year, that's mostly what I want to talk about today. You know and I know that a large number of people here aren't registered to vote. Get to it. It only takes like literally two minutes to get down to your town clerk and fill out one little card to register to vote. The Puritans, the Prohibition and the and Prohibitionists and the uh, Prudes, they're all registered to vote. Every busybody that thinks they know how to run your life, they're involved in politics all the time. It never slips their mind when election day comes. Don't let it slip yours. There are legalization questions on the ballot in Washington State and Colorado. You can become involved in those campaigns from here. From here. You can do letter writing, you can do phone banking, you can fundraise. And here in Massachusetts there's even a medical marijuana bill in, in, on the agenda in November. Campaign for it, and at the very least vote for it. We elect a president this year. Who to vote for? Well, I'll give you my opinion. Other, others may differ, but I say, whatever you do, don't go with the two major parties. That's for sure. There are alternative parties. There are third parties. The libertarians have been on the right side of this issue for decades. In the last couple of years, the Green Party has come down off the fence. They're joining in, too. Most of the Greens are for legalization. And the Americans elect you know, the new party uh, program they have. Who knows what the, who they may run for office. They may have somebody good. Now people will tell you, they'll tell you that third parties don't win. Perhaps that's because people listen to what they say too much. They will tell you that many, uh, they will tell many of us, you know, who they, you know that they will, in the final act we must come back to the Dems. You know, those people with the hope and whatever it is, hope and change, or advertising slogan. Now, Mr. Obama has presided over three million people arrested under his reign. Three million of your brothers and sisters. Kids get taken from their parents. Little kids have their dogs shot by the DEA. These indecent and evil policies go on and on. The feds are gonna crucify Richard Lee we got to do something about this. The president has even made jokes of all of this. And we're supposed to ignore that and reward Mr. Obama with our vote? If you're actually serious about this issue, be serious about it. Vote for somebody, someone in a third party, who will stand up for real change. I wouldn't put it past the Democrats and, and perhaps even the Republicans to toss a little bone out there this election year. 
to make it seem like they aren't taking you completely for granted. Something maybe nice sounding and meaningless, totally meaningless. You know, maybe we'll appoint a commission. Maybe we'll have a dialogue or something. I say they've had their chance. Both major parties are the parties of intolerance. They dominate politics with their rich hunt, witch hunts. They use us for fodder for their prison industrial complex and to keep scapegoat-hating bureaucrats collecting their salaries. A plague on both their houses, I say. If this stand hurts them at the polls, well, good. If they lose votes to more humane parties, perhaps it will force them to change their platform in the future. There have been 75 years of prohibition this year. It's been way too long. Americans need to be free. You know, there's an old song that goes, somehow people must be free. I hope the day comes soon. Well, hope has nothing to do with it. We make the change with our action. Thank you. Now, right now, we got a little, uh, a little intermission here between the bands, and we have a performer. We have a performance artist who's quite famous here in the valley. Deviations from the norm, I think you all know him. He's, you know, he's, a, he's one of our greatest clowns. He may have a few words or two to say about politics, but mostly he's going to put on a fantastic act for you. Here's Norman B. Thanks, Terry.